Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Saber Moon and welcome to our first installment of Kitchen Stitch. <laughs> Emphasis today on the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Cause we're gonna bake something today. Uh, today I'm making some banana bread cause I have some bananas that look like this. Okay, they're like really ready, like they're on their way out. Okay, we are going to make banana bread out of these because bananas that look like this, it is the perfect time to make banana bread with them. Okay, don't throw out bananas that look like that. There's always a use for them. Unless they're moldy, then you can go ahead and throw them out. It might look like a little bit of a mess here because I just put together another banana bread for TikTok. I had literally five bananas to use up, so I thought I'll make two breads. If you hear noise outside, I think I said this in my last video, but I live in an apartment complex, so there's gonna be noise outside, okay. First, we need a half a cup of room temp butter. Um, I failed to plan everything, so, my butter is not room temp at the moment, okay? It's like fresh out of the fridge. And I can't unwrap it for some reason. Jesus, this is like idiot proof. So we're gonna put that in a bowl and microwave it to get it to room temp, okay? That's usually like 20 seconds for me. It might be less for you. Just do whatever works. I'm gonna throw it in the oven, in the oven, in the microwave, 20 seconds to get it softened. If I can like put my finger in it and it starts to fold a little bit, that's how I know it's soft. So I just throw it in there. Did you hear that plop? How gross. And then we're gonna add a cup of sugar. Don't ask why mine looks like this, but I will tell you. Uh, <laughs> this down here is azúcar morena. And up here, this is just regular white granulated sugar. It works the same. It's just um, the like golden sugar is a little bit more granular and like coarse. But it's, it's raw, so, you know, it's not so filtered like this white stuff up here, but whatever, it all works the same, and I just, you know, I didn't feel like taking it out to add more sugar in it, so I just, it'll get used. Anyways, and now we're going to take our beaters that already kind of have some <laughs> banana bread batter on them from the TikTok bread that I made, um, and we're just going to beat this until it's light and fluffy as they say. This is light and fluffy enough to me. It's a little crumbly, but that's okay because we're gonna add some fresh $100 bills into our bowl. I think you're supposed to add one beat, then add the other and beat it again. Listen, I'm just doing it the way that I do it and <laughs> It's gonna come out great. So beat this together. See how much better that looks than the like crumbly mess that we had a second ago? So now we're gonna put this to the side and mix our dry ingredients together. So in this full Tupperware thing that we have here, we're going to add um, a cup and a half of flour. So that's three of these, because this is a half cup. They say baking is a science. They say you're supposed to scoop in the flour to your measuring cup and then level it off with a knife. Listen, no, just no. I, mm, eh, you know, <laughs> that's how I feel about that. I've never had trouble except one time when I tried to make this in my mother-in-law's oven and it, um, the inside was raw and the outside was burnt very very weird day anyways to this cup and a half of flour we are going to add a teaspoon of baking soda it also calls for a teaspoon of salt oh my god <clears throat> spoiler alert it calls for a teaspoon of salt as well but because of the type of cream that we're going to add into it a little bit later it already has salt in that so i'm not going to add extra salt teaspoon baking soda we are going to whisk this all together. So now we're going to take our dry ingredients and add them to the wet ones. Um, I do about half and then I'll beat it a little. Add half of the dry ingredients, beat it, and then add the other half and beat it just because I don't want it to get too clumpy on me or anything while I'm trying to get this flour mixed in. And sometimes, you know, they say you shouldn't beat like cake batters and stuff too long because if you do you're going to activate the gluten and it's going to be kind of bready but this is a bread so i don't really have that fear when i'm mixing 
this all together. Okay, so now we got this like cookie dough like consistency. And in a second, it's gonna turn more into like a batter um, when we add our last three ingredients. And what they are are mashed bananas, which we will do right now. So I just peel my bananas and put them on a plate because I feel like it makes it, I have more room to kind of like smash them, make sure them, they're all kind of even. And then I can just scrape them off into the bowl. So like that. I usually just mash them with a fork. So I will do that. They don't need to be like too pulverized or anything. It kind of, I guess it's just like your personal preference. If you like little pockets of uh, banana that you can actually see, then don't do it too much. But if you like it to be more hidden and you just want the flavor of banana, then, you know, make it a really fine paste. That there is good enough for me. So we are going to scrape that off into our bowl. Last two ingredients, vanilla. I here have a pure Mexican vanilla, okay? Also my nickname in high school. A rule number one with me, okay? When it comes to baking, vanilla is measured with the heart, not a spoon, okay? A little bit of extra vanilla never hurt anybody, all right? Unless you're using like a quarter of the freaking bottle, but you know, measure with your heart. When it feels right, it is right. Our last ingredient is sour cream. Now, I currently don't have any sour cream, like daisy, like traditional dollop sour cream. And you can replace that in this recipe um, with yogurt. Like if you have Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, if you can use vanilla yogurt, that's also good. All I have right now is Mexican crema. Sorry, and that's why I didn't add salt because crema already has some salt in it. Um, but it works. I've used it before as well, but I'm not going to use as much. The recipe calls for half a cup of sour cream. And uh, this is a lot thinner than regular sour cream. Like, see that? I'm going to use about a quarter of a cup. <gasps> I cannot believe I just caught that on fucking camera. I guess we are going to use half a cup. That was probably more like three quarters of a cup, but... It's all gravy. This is what happens when you're in non-professional baking. And you know what? I'm sure professionals have these problems too, okay? We're being real on this channel. Truly, it's because I don't have the ingredients to start over. This ain't gonna go to waste. It's still gonna get eaten. So now we're gonna beat this. Actually, no, we're not gonna beat it. We're gonna take our spatula and uh, mix it gently. Because it's already been beaten to death, we just need it to kind of all mesh together now. One last optional ingredient you can add is um, like chopped walnuts or pecans or whatever kind of nuts you like. I added um, walnuts to the one that I made on TikTok, but on this one I'm going to leave it plain since I'm taking it over for family to enjoy. I would like, you know, one plain and one with nuts. That way, you know, people who don't like nuts can enjoy one and people who do like nuts can enjoy the other. So, this is what we have now. It's more of a batter, thick batter consistency. So what we're going to do is take our cute little uh, loaf pan and we're gonna, this is already nonstick, so I'm not gonna add too much, but do you want a little layer of protection? And then just dump the bowl contents into the loaf pan. Why is it getting so damn noisy outside? Jesus. So here's what we got. We're going to throw this into our preheated 350 degree oven for an hour and 10 minutes. I know that seems like a long time, but it's very thick. So you got to make sure it gets cooked all the way through. When it's done, you can test with like a skewer or something long, obviously longer than a toothpick um, to make sure that like no wet batter comes out. And if it doesn't, you're good. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Yeah. See you then. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I just took the banana breads out of the oven. Um, the lighting in my kitchen is not fantastic. Okay, so bear with me here, but I'm gonna show you what they look like and um, then we'll end the video. Okay, so here's the bread that I made for TikTok that has nuts in the batter and on top. And then here is the plain one that I made here for you guys today. This one got really nice and domed. I think this loaf pan is just a tiny bit smaller 
than that one so it got like real fluffy and nice but um yeah I didn't poke skewers in them because I'm used to baking this already I know how my oven works and I know that it continues to bake a tiny bit once you take it out because the pan is still really hot but that's what they look like if my house could smell like this every single day I would love it Bath and Body Works please hit me up okay because my goodness I have a great candle idea for you it is this so anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, my very first cooking video ever, cooking slash baking. Um, I really enjoyed making it and um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate a subscribe and um, any, any ideas, any like, uh, you know, more recipes that you want me to try out, leave them down in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you staying here all the way through. Have a beautiful beautiful day it's gorgeous here where i live um our first gorgeous day in a while because it has been freezing girl <sighs> so i'm gonna go out and enjoy it um yeah thanks for watching appreciate it bye